Hi guys and welcome to vlog episode, God knows what number we're on now, but it's the first one of 2014 which simply means it's the health kick episode. And this year we were actually going to try and focus on not necessarily losing weight, um, I've got a bit of weight to lose, I put some on over Christmas, but the thing is we want to get super healthy. And the reason it's kind of spurred this on is we was watching a Shake Hall's video, I watch them every so often, and uh, he chucks out a bit of sound advice, a bit of life advice kind of thing, and um, one of them was to watch two documentaries that he says will just change your eating habits. And one was Fat Sick Nearly Dead, which I would advise everyone to go and look at, and the other one is Forks Over the knives and again I would say go watch them and the entire videos are kind of just saying you need to juice juice is great and um, not just juice all day long obviously you'll eventually get bored of it but juice for a few days detox your body and then after just juice once a day and get your micronutrients in your body and I've been watching documentaries just saying how important it is to get these micronutrients in your body and the thing is I don't eat super bad but I do have a bit of veg a bit in this but it tends to be steamed and when you steam it you get rid of all the good stuff so I was just like you know what I'm going to go back to basics and just before Christmas as well I was on a diet which was the low carb diet which means you could eat bacon and cheese and I did lose weight on it and it was brilliant but the problem is you can't eat bacon and cheese or something's got to be wrong with your body if you just live off cheese and bacon all along so we're going to go with the proper healthy plan there and we're going to see how it goes so as I said going to kickstart 2014 so I've been out and purchased this bad boy which is me blender and I'm yet to use it um, simply because we're waiting for the fruit to be delivered tomorrow um, plus I wanted to start juicing today but this didn't turn up until late this afternoon so I've already consumed normal food so I'm going to wait for that tomorrow and then I'm going to juice for six days that's the plan and then after the six days, just juice once a day, just to get my body topped up. Now drop the camera then. Just get my body topped up with what it should be. And uh, yeah, just live a bit more healthy. So, so that's the body side of things done. Get things in the body that makes you feel good. And the other thing is, go to the gym. And this is the gym, so bear in mind it will be a bit blurry as I try and focus. Hello, Jim. Hi. Hi. This is Grant Basilido. And you two's very own wonky man. All right. So this is the only two people of the gym. And this is Grant's gym, which he built from hand. Did you not, Grant? I didn't need. Yes, he did. So this is the Arnie. How long did that take you to paint that, Grant? About three hours. Oh, is it? What is it? It's not pen. Uh, some of it's pen. Some of it's paint. And you've got some blended in paint and pen. Bit a bit of everything, but. To be fair, that is pretty. A lot of love. A lot. <laughs> Didn't you get high off the fumes of the pen or something? <laughs> <laughs> Brought pretty much everything, all of this, or is this hand me downs? That was free. That, that was free. free. Everything else paid for. No, no, that was free because we've got like Christmas. Yeah, that's right. That's free. That was free. All the weights were free. All the weights. So it is a proper mash of everything. Yeah. <laughs> the black one, the ball. What's that most important piece of equipment the right there? The bag that is also... <laughs> the one needed seat. <laughs> and that's the new addition into the horrible... I don't even know what they're called. Dip bars. Dip bars. Also known as Rob's coat. Hanger. <laughs> There's a bit of everything, isn't there, really? Yeah. That's for hanging off your fingernails. For, for rock climbing. Technical word, fingerboard. The think... machine that's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No one does cardio. You don't need cardio. That's what Paul says. More weights. <laughs> More weights. Another bench. Another bench. Tom's climbing frame. Tom, yes. I'll probably be on that in a bit. This is what Tom spends two hours doing. Try the old, you've just lost a bottle. The Harry Potter. Guy <laughs> Monster! <laughs> On his head. <laughs> <laughs> so I film the machine. Right, so normal as knackered as you are, normal routine that we do. Oh you've already sit it out tell you. They don't wanna. What are we doing today? Monday. Monday. Cheers. Chest. Chest. So this thing randomly generates how many is it? About twelve? Uh nine. Nine random exercises. Nine, you get two abs. And two abs. For eleven. To keep us on the toes. So what's the first up then? Barbell bench, bench press incline. So let's give it a whirl.
activate and that is one session done. Cheers. Bah. So day one is a Ponners and Tesco have delivered the goods and this is what I shall be consuming now for the next week. In fact, I say it like I'm actually upset, but I'm not. I'm good. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some healthy stuff. So we got some yellow and green balls. Need some of that. We got some celery sticks. We got what we got here? Some spinach. We got some parsley. We got a load of carrots. Uh, more stuff. What we got here? Loads of parsley. These, which are just like I don't know, they're like roses, but they're made of green stuff. And I can honestly say I don't think I've ever ordered a watermelon in my entire life. I've consumed them, but I've never actually gone on my shopping list, I need a watermelon today. In fact, same goes for pineapple. So we've got some oranges, some apples, loaded berries and stuff like that, some kiwis, um, beetroots, big bag of beetroots, because I, I actually love beetroot. Um, sadly, we ordered bananas, um, and then last night we realized that's about the only thing you can't juice. You can blend a banana, but you can't juice a banana. And we're on a juicing diet, which is different to blending. And then we brought some garden. So we've got a nice bit of garden there to actually chuck him. So I'm going to try and make my first thing this morning. So I'm now on juicerecipes.com, which is pretty sweet because you put in what you've actually ordered and it tells you all the different ones that you consume. And then on top of it, when you actually click on them, it tells you your health benefits and your perks of consuming such things. And also obviously what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna try and go with I think this is the one I fancy. Beatnik, which is going to be some apples, beetroots, carrots, celery, and some spinach. So let's fire this bad boy up and see how much damage we can actually make. Right, so the ingredients have been picked, and the thing is, they've gone off obviously the weight of the different fruit and vegetables. I ain't got no scales, so <laughs> we're winging it. This might turn out to be absolutely horrible. So let's get the beast ready, stick it under there. Set the lid off. Ooh, there we go. I think you can go with squishing in some uh, apples first, and then what we'll do is we'll try and get some parsley and crap down the back of that. Squish it up. From what I've seen, this stuff is best to be squished in between apples and such. All right, let's give that one a go. Let's blend. See what happens. <gasps> Right, here we go. Delicious juice. Dish is with all the different colours of her. So time to give it a quick mix up and consume. That's not looking the colour I expected. So <laughs> I don't know if I put enough beets in it or not. Wow! Cat's crying because the cat wants some. Right, to day one of juicing. That's actually really nice. Oh, that's very nice. It's got a, a strong taste of celery in it, which I'm not a massive fan of. So I'll probably put more beets in next time to kind of mask that. But that, that's some good stuff. I can easily get that down. So I don't know if I actually fully explained uh, at the start of this video because it was all just before the gym, so it was very hectic. But the plan is to consume nothing apart from a juice diet now for six days, which is going to be a good old detox for the body. And then after those six days, we're just going to juice once a day because it's the best way of getting all the good stuff in your body every single day. Because some people tend to eat carrots, but they'll boil them and they do all the different things with them. But the best way to get any of this stuff is to simply juice it and put it inside your body because your body can break it down easier. It's in juice form and it's just a super good health kick. So yes, yeah, so we're going to consume this for six days. So in fact, why remember, 
gonna shoot upstairs now and I'm actually gonna take my weight because as I said I put some weight on over Christmas. So we'll see what we are on day one and we'll see what we are on day six and see if this has actually shifted a load of weight. But again, I'm not bothered if it doesn't move the weight because this is about being healthy and not actually losing that little bit of Christmas fat. <laughs> right, and just before we do go and do the big old weighing, Joe's come for breakfast. What's yours called? I don't know. Citrusy goodness. And this is the citrusy goodness. Rice called goddess juice. Goddess juice, and it's, <laughs> it makes your tab laugh, that's what I'm saying. Um, yes, it's very uh, citrusy. Ah, wow. But no, it's very, very nice. So, so far, very good. Right, then we're going to take my big old cup of uh, mess. Mm. I was going to say, let's see how much weight I've gained. But I never knew my actual starting weight, so <laughs> I'm going to just record today's weight and then let's see what we lose in six days. Right, so here we go. I know somebody will be like, oh, you got the weight of the camera. Well, I'll have the weight of the camera when I weigh in next time as well, so it'll be fine. 13.9, which is about right. I think I was 13.8 yesterday when I checked at the gym, but I've got a bit more thicker clothes on at the moment. So yeah, we'll chalk it up as 13.9. Right, so I'm going to pretty much leave that there now. Um, my plan was today to perhaps jump onto the exercising me, thingy me bob, that thing. And uh, I'm not going to, <laughs> simply because I haven't been to the gym in over a month, so my joints are killing from last night. So to jump on that is just going to be suicide. Um, so I'll jump on it every other day that I don't go to the gym kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so the next thing will be consuming more juice for the next five days. Apparently from what I've read, um, the first two days you are feeling a bit down, your body's changing you, and yeah, it's just kind of not the best period for the first two days. But then when you get to about the third day, apparently you feel superhuman and everything's gonna be great. So I'm gonna leave this vlog here and then the next episode will probably just be days two through to six and me explaining all the highs and lows of doing such a diet. And then after, get back to gaming stuff. So as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. Cheers. Bye.